Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Chicago Bears and last night's game. Unbelievable. There, you know what? We all know the score was 27 29, and um, there's a lot to talk about, but it, the bottom line, bullshit. Because those refs, are being paid off by somebody because they are, they are, it, this isn't the first game this has happened, but this is the worst it's been. They are awful, those refs last night, awful. Just, I don't even know what to say. So we're going to get right into it, all right? So the Bears, there were some good things. So let we're going to concentrate, well, we're just kind of going to go. I'm just going to tell you. There were some good things. Um, Fields, you know, on Friday, on Saturday, I said that um, Fields, I felt like he was going to have a, a, a good game. And he kind of did, you know. And I said that the Bears need it w- with Ben being the way Ben is, not being able to move. Although he ran for two yards last night. Um they had four sacks. I predicted four to five. Um, I, t- I said, if you get in his face, you'll get a couple turnovers. We didn't get any from him, but we did get a turnover. So there were some things that were really good. So the Bears, um, Fields passed for two nine, 291 yards, and I believe that's the highest it's been so far since he started his in the seven games he's played. And he made some good passes last night. He really, really did, and we're going to get into that rushing was has been as good as it always has we had 136 yards rushing we should have ran the ball a lot fucking more you know that's why I think Nagy is involved in that clay that play calling somehow because we should have run the ball they they were getting yards chunks of yards um Montgomery looked great and um, you know what? They should have handed it off more. I thought w- then they would have kept um, uh, Pittsburgh off the field, and they won the time of possession over us. But a lot of other things were very comparable um, because we beat them in passing yards and we beat them in rush yards because um, they had 170, Ben had 175 uh, passing yards, and they had 105 rushing. So we beat them in both categories. Um, the offense did turn the ball over twice. Um, well, sort of the offense, um, special teams offense. Um, offense um, fields through that one pass that was tipped. I was talking about tipped um, ga- uh, passes on Saturday when we were talking about the Bears game, and there was one tipped at the line. It was intercepted. Boom. And then our special teams guy, uh, number 17, he had a fumble and gave the ball back to Pittsburgh. So we'll talk about that. But what really did the Bears and really did the Bears um, in was 12. Yeah, you heard me. 12 freaking penalties for 115 yards. Oh, my God, I was so pissed. Do you know the second play of the game, the Bears got a penalty, and it just went from there on. Terrible, terrible. Our defense did get one turnover, so we did get one of those. So, I mean, I kind of predicted, you know, he was going to have a better game. He did. I predicted four to five sacks and a couple turnovers um, by the D. We got one. So, hey, we'll, we'll take it, right? So, um, it, I mean, let's face it. It was a close game. In the second half. First half, no. Um, the Bears were terrible. Um, the play calling, I didn't understand some of it. Uh, you know, I, I, I just, I, I mean, I'm not a big wildcat um, lover, but I tell you what, it worked three times that I could count. And um, it worked. They got chunks of yards. So, all right, me be bad. But there were... I counted it four times where penalties stopped the Bears' drives. And then, of course, the interception that Fields had. So that's, you know. And then the Bears had three three and outs, which they can't do. And, um, you know, but the penalties, penalties, penalties just killed us. I mean, God, didn't I tell you? Penalties, you cannot win when you're having 12 penalties for 115 yards. Think about that. If we had that 115 yards going to the positive, um, 
we would have easily won that game, and we should have, as we're going to talk about. Okay, here was another really pissed me off. So then the Bears are in the second quarter, and I talked about the receivers at the other at the other show, how the receivers really need to be Fields' friend. They've got to help him. They've got to get open. They've got to run good routes. They've got to be paying attention if he's in trouble, which Allen Robinson did at one point last night. Uh, and late in the game, he saw Fields running around, and he came back and got a pass from him. So he, he, he did what I was saying. But in the second quarter, oh, my God, I could have caught this. So, um, well, no, maybe not. Um, so uh, Fields throws to number 80, Jimmy Graham, and he's in the end zone, and it's a, it's a touchdown, and he freaking drops the ball. That happened last week with Clement. Now Jimmy Graham does it. It really, I could not understand it. And then what was really irritating is the next play, they go back to Graham again. No. See, that I disagree with. I don't know who called that play, Laser or an Aggie or Fields, but you don't go back to the guy after he drops an easy pass. You don't. You don't reward after somebody does something stupid like that. And then after he, after he drops a six points um, in the end zone, then the Bears get another penalty, and boom, shuts down the drive, and we ended up getting a field goal. Uh, you know what, that was seven points right there, right? And then, as I mentioned before, number 17, Grant, he's our kick returner. He fumbled the ball, gives the ball back to Pittsburgh. Are you freaking kidding me? But on the bright side, the defense did hold them, and they forced a punt. So the defense had its ups and downs last night, and we're going to talk about that. But the penalties, we're going to start with the penalties, all right? So the penalties in the fourth quarter, the Bears are driving, or excuse me, Pittsburgh's driving down the field, and the Bears get another, it was their last sack, I think. So anyways, they get one of their four sacks, and it was by the new guy that just joined the team, number 59, Marsh. And um, they were ready to punt the ball and give it back to the Bears, and then those freaking refs call a taunting penalty. And we talked about this, how that's an interpretation and it should not be in, in the league. It just should not be. And not only, it was not taunting. Anybody who watched that game, all he did, Marsh, after he um, jumped around, was look at the team. Look at Pittsburgh. He didn't say anything. He didn't open his mouth, nothing. And he had to be at least 50 yards away from them. That is not taunting, okay? And that was huge because then they give the ball back to Pittsburgh. They go down and score a field goal. And that's the difference in the game right there. That's one of the differences. Bears, do, that don't happen. Bears win. Okay, and here's the other one that really, if, if, the, if the refs didn't do this, Bears would have won. So I'm telling you, somebody's freaking paying them off. Okay, so the Bears are driving down the field, fourth quarter. Fields hit Clement with um, number 85, a uh, long pass, and he ends up on the third-yard line. And I got to tell you, Clement and him had some really good um, passes. We're going to talk about that in a second. But he, him and Clement, I really like seeing him throwing to the – tight ends. You told, I've been talking about that. So that's really great to see. So he throws it to him. So we're on the three-yard line, first and goal. And then he throws a great pass to Jimmy Graham, number 80. Gives him another chance. He catches it. Touchdown. Then that out comes that yellow flag again. And they called it. Um, it was a... Um, it was some kind of a block by our offensive lineman, and it was illegal. And who they said did it didn't even touch anybody. I think it was Daniels, and he didn't even touch anybody. The the um, so the, re the the touchdown is off the board. We had to settle for a field goal again. Bears would have won if they had gotten that, that touchdown. If everything stayed the same, okay. So. Um, even the TV guys were like unbelievable. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe that the refs called the penalty on the taunting, which was a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't say that word. 
Um, no, I can say that word. I can't say the F word. I can say bullshit. <laughs> and it was bullshit. And then they they said, oh, my God. And then they kept playing the um, play over and over again. And our guy never touched anybody. So it was not illegal what he did. And even the... Um, the analyst, the uh, ref analyst they have on, on the TV said it was not a penalty. So, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Once it's called, it's called. That's it. And um, so we ended up set, settling for a field goal. Again, twice there. The referees, they, they, they um, took six points off, and they gave Pittsburgh three points because of their bad, stupid calls. Terrible. Just Terrible. And on that same drive, to be honest with you, there was a couple times that they, well, the one when Fields kind of, when he went down weird and tried to, he doesn't know how to slide yet. They got to work on that. Um, it, I don't think that was a penalty. It could have been though, but, and then there, but there was one down there on the goal line that they hit him three steps after he threw the ball. And we got one earlier in the game on Ben and it was less than that. And we didn't get the call. And even F- um, Fields said, I can't remember which time he said it. He goes, that's not a penalty. And the ref just walked away. It's because he's a rookie. They're not giving him the benefit of the doubt. But yet they give that old man, Ben, the benefit of the doubt. And that lion prick, um, Rogers, when we played him, the benefit of the doubt. But they don't give it to um, Fields. And that is not fair. You have to be consistent, and they're not. They were awful. Now, of course, the Bears are going to, um, you know, they can send in, um, you know, complaints, but so what? All they're going to do is write back and go, sorry, we made a mistake. (sighs) You know what? The Bears should have won that game no matter what, and I know people are going to say that the, the defense gave up at the end. We're going to talk about that. But they were fucking tired. They were out there all night. But I got to tell you what, David Montgomery, our running back, is back, number 32. He looked bad. Great. He had 63 yards. And then he even, they do a weird um, little play down by the goal line, um, and he hands it off the ball to number 11, Mr. Mooney, who runs it for a touchdown. That was great. Uh, and I'm not big on trick plays, but ones like that I can handle. I just don't like the reverses behind the line when you're running behind the line because there's just too much um, that can happen. But I got to tell you what, those Wildcats worked, and that worked. So I'll give them, I'll give them credit for that. Fields looked better. We all know it. He did look better. He had made some passes that were unbelievably great. Um, but he still looked confused. I mean, let's face it, people. He's still seven games in. Got a lot to learn. He's got no offensive line. So, But he's getting better. He really, really is. And him and Clement, number 85, and Jimmy Graham really had nice nights. As a matter of fact... The one thing about um, Fields last night, as I like uh, Fields and the Bears doing this, he threw it to five diff- six different people. Um, go, uh, uh, Goodwin, number 84, had 50 yards last night. Graham, number 80, our tight end, um, 28. Comment, number 85, another tight end, 85 yard, 87 yards. Um, David Montgomery had 17 yards in receiving. Mr. Mooney had 41. And Robinson, number 12, had 68. So he threw it around to everybody, and I like that. Because then you're not just t- targeting one person, and that confuses the defense. So that, I will say... That's when you say, okay, um, um, Nagy is not calling the plays then, you know, but I like that a lot. So if they keep that up, that is fantastic. He was sacked three times last night, Fields, but it could have been worse. I mean, you know, and he ran for 45 yards. So he um, he really had a, he had a pretty damn good game, okay, and – I got to say he did. And I let's talk about the defense a little bit. I know a lot of people were probably really ripping on him today because they didn't um, hold up at the end. Well, yeah, I wasn't happy about that. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, they they were on the field a lot because 
they kept, you know, the Bears were either getting out of them or they were getting field goals, and then they, were, they weren't on the field long offensively, the Bears. Uh, Pittsburgh was way up, and I know we gave 29 points up. I do know that, and that's not good, but when you when you were missing three key players, well, two plus one later, I'll tell you. So Mack was out, our defensive lineman. So that's why I, if Mack and Quinn had been in there, if Mack had been in there, there would have been way more sacks, definitely. And then Jackson, our um, Eddie Jackson, our cornerback in the secondary, best one out there, he was out. And then Akeem Hicks, my favorite, a 96, played the first half. He didn't play the second half because he hurt his ankle again. So he was out. So you've got three, three one of the three top players on your team. Oh, and I'm sorry. And Ogletree was out. And I think he's better than Danny Trevathan. I'm sorry, Danny's old. Danny was good in his day, but I think Ogletree is better. And he was out too. So we had three major guys out the whole game, and then Hicks was out the second half. So um, it's, it's, we're probably lucky they only scored 29, considering how many times that our offense was giving it back to them. Between the four times um, – um, four times uh, drives were stopped due to de- uh, penalties, and three three and outs. That's seven times that the Bears should right back to the defense. They did have four sacks, which was good. But I, I, and I'm saying to myself, why aren't you blitzing um, Ben more? They didn't blitz him a lot. They tried to just do it with three or four guys without blitzing. But I know why, and I was thinking about it. I'm like, Lynn, what have you been saying all year? Our secondary sucks. So if you got a bad secondary, it's hard to blitz because if you don't get to them, there's, there's less help in the back because you have everybody up blitzing. So um, our defense coordinator like is like probably not blitzing a lot yesterday because he knew the secondary is just so bad, and it showed. There was some bad, bad um, – number 22 is terrible. Terrible, and they were picking on him a lot. And um, so – but I, in my opinion, I thought our defense did do some really good things considering they were down – Four players in the second half, let's say, three in the first half, and the D, our offense kept handing it over to um, them, you know, so Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, so we have to work on the defense, obviously, in the offseason. The, the things we need to work on are the offensive line and the um, defense, okay? And, um, sorry, and... Um, my computer is not cooperating with me. There we go. See? Um, but t- I just, I'm telling you, those penalties just killed us. And I, for sure, two should never have been called. And those two gave Pix one gave Pittsburgh three points and one cost us six points. And we had to settle for a field goal. So let's just say that we got that, that um, so it would have been, f- we lost by two points. And that, that, um, that touchdown to Jimmy Graham that was called back in the fourth quarter because of a penalty, we would have had seven points. And we, if everything had stayed the same, we would have won that game. There's several times had things stayed the same, we would have won the game if they didn't call those. That penalty, the taunting, that's the other one. We gave them three points because of that when we had them stopped. And I'm telling you, the kid did not taunt. And then that one coach went after him. He was screaming at him. And then later, I don't know if you saw it, the coach, they saw the play, obviously, on their tablets. And the coach went up to him and apologized. And everybody was like, you didn't do it, man. You didn't do it. You can't get on a kid if he didn't do it. And that kid, Marsh, played pretty darn well, and he's been on the practice squad, and he played for Pittsburgh last year. And that's why they said he was looking at Pittsburgh, because he played there last year, and he knows those guys. You know what? Taunting is getting in their face. Taunting is is um, getting in their face, being close, you know, starting a fight. So that was not even close to happening on that play. You know, I say, and I don't believe in it, but somebody's paying these fucking refs off, and I want to know who it is, okay? (laughs) Another game gets away from us. There's a couple games this year the Bears should definitely have won, and this, out of all of them, is definitely the one of them. There's no doubt about it. And and I am sure, um, yeah, the, the defense... 
they did give up that last score. The, 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 there's no doubt about it. But um, but they had a lot of challenges, and they still did, I think, pretty damn decent. So there was a lot of positives and negatives as well. But really, at the end of the day, it was those penalties that just killed us. And, and um, of course, we had two turnovers. That did not help. Um, you know, you cannot do that either especially when you're playing somebody like a Ben who's smart. But they got a great running back, boy. That guy is something else. And um, he was hard to take down. But um, but I saw that Goldman, 91, he was all over the place. Goldman was all over the place. And 58, our linebacker, Roquan Smith, was all over the field. He had to have, I, know, I think he had something like 15, 12 or 15 tackles and um, – I want to say they said he had uh, five for losses or something like that. I can't remember, but he would. And so after the game, and they were doing the interviews, and I was watching the pre the post game, when Roquan Smith came out and he was asked about those penalties, you could see how pissed he was. And he was just like, <sighs> and then finally he said, I can't comment. I can't. And, and he was, you could see he was visibly shaken. And the fact that they lost the game. Sorry. I have very rude neighbors, and they let their dogs out, and they bark all the time. I, I apologize for that. Um, but um, he was really, really bad. And then when Nagy came out later, he was the same. Because he's like, yeah, I saw those two, uh, pe- those two penalties, and uh, I can't comment. He kept saying, no comment. No comment, no comment, no comment, because he was like, I can't, you know, because he knows. It, that's what the TV guys were saying. Um, they were saying, Nagy's probably going to uh, blow a gasket when he sees that, how bad those penalties were, and he's going to get himself in trouble for sure when he sees those. Well, you know what? He should. Put on your big boy pants, Nagy, and go after the league and bitch. Get yourself suspended for one game. Show that team that you were – got their backs because there was two calls that took points away from us and cost us the game. Show those players that you're willing to put yourself out there. Now, I don't know if coaches get uh, fired, I mean, uh, suspended, or they, or they don't get kicked out of games like um, baseball when you bitch about stuff. But um, Nagy really needs to get and get on the TV. I don't know what he's saying in Illinois, but he needs to be saying shit so the league gets pissed. So he gets fined. The Bears are going to pay it anyways, but it shows the players he's standing up for him. But, you know, I bet you that coward little asshole won't, you know, but he should, in my opinion, because that'll say a lot to the team. That'll really give them their encouragement that, hey, he's got our back. Look at him. He's getting, he's going out and defending those terrible penalties for us. That's just my opinion. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know what? It was a that this one was a tough one because I'm glad they were in it, and it and, and it showed people on Monday night that the Bears don't really suck; they're just in growing mode and rebuilding, and that's what it is. But this one hurts, and this one's going to hurt, and it particularly hurts going into a bye. Now we're not we're going to be off for the next ten days. We don't play again until. Um, Gosh, uh, what, two, 10 days, two weeks, and we play the Ravens. So we'll talk about that the Friday before the show. I'll talk about that. But it's got to be tough for them to have to go and have some. But maybe we get everybody healthy. We could have kind of a good we, – we, we got some tough teams coming up. We got the Ravens. We got um, Arizona Cardinals in there. Uh, we still got to play Green Bay. We got to play Minnesota. Um who else? There's another team in there. I can't remember. But, yeah, we got some tough ones coming up, so it's not over yet, you know. But this one was hard to swallow, real hard to swallow. And F you refs. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you're in somebody's pockets. That's for sure. That group was. They were awful. And that old man of a ref, the lead guy, time to retire, friend. Get the blank out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop bitching. There's really not much more to say. I'm sure you all agree with me, and it's just unfortunate. This is the year we're having. But Fields is, does seem to be getting better. You see, if we can see improvement each week, then this it was good to put him in there. 
um, because the decision making has gotten better on his part. He's still getting a little confused on some of the schemes the offenses are throwing at him, but hey, that's to be expected, right? So let's just chill out for the next 10 days. I'll come back and do the show the Friday before. Um, and we'll talk about the Ravens game, which will be hard, but let's try to get this one out of our heads, right? So as always, be kind, stop hate, stop bullying, bring kindness back, smile at somebody today, tomorrow, help somebody out if they need it. Let's just stick together. Um, especially after what happened last night, we got to stick together because clearly, People don't like the Bears or their fans. That's what I mean. <laughs> but I like you guys a lot. And I love my Bears, and I always will. Did you see Virginia McCaskey was there, Mama McCaskey? I bet she wasn't happy. Um, but she probably liked her how she's seeing her investment grow with fields. So, But I bet she wasn't happy about those. Because they had a good view of showing that those show two penalties were not penalties. You tell them, Virginia. <laughs> All right, so again, be kind, let's stick together, and love one another. And on that note, your announcer is going to stop her bitching and let you guys go, and I love you guys, thanks for watching, keep on watching, tell everybody you know, um, and uh, we'll see you in 10 days, and keep on rocking and rolling from Vegas, baby, Bye bye